All right, guys, today we have another amazing unboxing. Hello, rat. Ah! Guys, as I began to say before, I was so viciously attacked by the rat. Today, we have another awesome unboxing from Spirit Halloween 2024. Everybody on the internet is excited about this guy. That's right, I'm talking about this guy, Rick Ratman. Is it Ratman? Is it Ratman? Maybe we will never know. All we do know, though, is that he's being eaten by rats. This guy is going to be lurking in the background as we check out this new prop. So once again, guys, from Spirit Halloween 2024, Rick Ratman. Look at the look on that guy's face. Torso moves from side to side, makes grunting, screaming, and rat screeching noises. Stands six feet tall. We got a rat in the head, we got a rat in the body, and we got a rat right here. As we turn the box around this way and almost destroy my table, we can see Rick Ratman on the side over here again. Torso moves side to side, makes grunting, screaming, and rat screeching noises. We turn it around to the back, and we have Rick Ratman in the store of Rick Ratman. And last but not least, on this side of the box, we have two good pictures of Rick Ratman and the rats that are eating the man. I always love when there's this little mark on the box indicating that there's sound coming out. All right, without further ado, let's move this guy back into the back and let's unbox Rick Ratman. I don't even care if it's supposed to be Ratman, I'm calling him Rat man. Okay, as always, we have on the inner flap here that if you have a problem with your animatronic, you can get a hold of the zombie tech squad, and they will try their best, at least, to get it fixed for you. Looks like we gotta lay this down and slide out, I think. Oh, what the heck? I think it's supposed to slide out, but it's not happening. Okay, now it wants to slide out. It's probably the rat's fault. This thing is jam-packed. Okay, let's set the box aside, and let's see what we got here. We got instructions and clothes. This must be the insides. This must, like, wrap around there. Hip hoop, shoulders, Doc Martens. <laughs> I see the rats. Oh, look at this. It's Rick Ratman's head. <laughs> and he has the moving rat inside his head. That's probably my favorite part of this whole prop, guys, how the rat in his head actually wobbles around as if it's alive, enjoying eating the brain. Man, that deep in there, there must not be much brain left. That thing, arm, oh, that's right, he only has one arm. Bars, power cord, another bar, and our power box, base, the other rat, which is also zip-tied. <laughs> oh, that's the one that hangs. Just like that. I kind of wish they had one of the rat's faces sticking out. Like maybe the one in his head. I kind of wish that you could turn him up so that his head was actually sticking out and he was looking out the head. Zip ties. Instructions. Alright, just make sure we got everything first. Got that, that. Arm, base, hip hoop, shoulders, power cord, boots, gut mold, head, shirt, pants, blah, blah, blah. I think we're good to go, guys. Mr. Hello Rat, you sit here and read me the instructions, okay? What's that? You don't speak English? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start this on the table here. Then as we build it, we'll put it on the floor and move from there. Leg poles. One, two, right shoe and left shoe. Man, I gotta say guys, I've put together a lot of animatronics and these are the most solid shoes I have felt on one of these things. And you can actually see which is the right and the left foot. Usually it's just two really thin plastic shoes. Right foot. Left foot. Even with as good as these instructions are, sometimes it's difficult to see which direction these things go. It looks... Like this one goes on here, but that doesn't make sense because it's sending it way out there. Okay, well at least we know this one goes on here. Next are the pants. One leg. 
two legs. Next up is this thing. Come on, rat, tell me what's next. This one goes on the other side then. Let's get rid of the table. That little knobby thing is for the hip hoop, okay. All right, there we go. Hope it's not too distracting to see a giant yellow peanut behind Mr. Ratman here. Let's take this opportunity to plug in his power cord while his pants are down. Okay, torso frame. That's this guy, rat number one. This thing all twisted around here. Plugging in rat number one. Ah, that's how he moves. <laughs> okay, metal connector. Okay. Did the wire. Attach the shoulder form. Okay. Attach the gut mold. So this is the gut mold. Ah, okay. So this folds here and gets snapped into place right there. See how that works. Attach the right arm. Supposed to go inside a hole. Go in the hole! Why won't you go in the hole? What the heck? Like that? What in the world? I can't even see through the shoulder. Oh, is there a, is there a hole up there? Oh, okay, so the hand goes up like this. I see now. Now I found the hole. Never had so much trouble putting an arm in a hole before. <laughs> Attach the left arm to the shoulder form using the Velcro strip. And this, my friends, is the left arm. Attach the head. That is a sick looking face. Sick! Okay, secure the pants to the hip hoop. Ah, using Velcro. There we go, I get it now. There's little Velcro sections around the hem of the pants that you have to undo and then do them back. I think elastic would have worked better, but all right. Undershirt goes next. That would be this one. Ah, there it is. Guess that means we put it on just like a regular. Never dressed a guy with only one arm before. Wait, did I dress a guy yesterday with only one arm? Where does the head go? Rick, I am really not liking you right now. Why do you have to give me so much trouble? All I wanted to do was dress a one-armed guy. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. One arm through. This is the head. Put your rat through the hole. <laughs> and put your stub through the other hole. I think that's right. Is there Velcro under his... Oh. oh, there is. Okay, that holds the shirt on. Never dressed a guy with two rat holes before. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. I don't know if that's right or not. I think so. All right, second rat hole shirt. I'm gonna have to take you shopping, Rick. All your shirts have rat holes. Remind me never to buy a shirt that has rat holes in it. Where does the sensor go? I think I was mistaken when I said putting together animatronics was fun. Ah! I mean, that looks right. All right, let's plug him in and get him going. I guess it would help if I'd turn him on. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, wait. I want to watch and see if his eye moves. Let's get up here and get a close-up look at him. Okay, before I set him off, let's just take a look from head to toe. We got the boots. We got the pants. We got the rat hole shirt. One arm. And we got the rat hole head. Now... Here's what I was just talking about. He has one eye. He has a right eye. And I want to take a look at it and see if the actual eye itself is moving when he's moving back and forth. Here's a look at the eye. Yeah, I don't think the eye itself is moving, but it's a pretty good looking eye, if I say so myself. In fact, I think he read the map wrong with his one eye! <laughs> Alright, we got the rat inside. And we got the rat coming out his head. I do wish this rat was interchangeable, where you could take it out and turn him upside down and, like, see his face sticking out the head. I think that would be totally awesome. That's how it looks from the back. 
He is pretty dang cool, man. Let's come back around this side. All right, trip the sensor there. He is pretty awesome. And you know what else I like? We got this Hello Rat over here. And there's enough space inside there that we can put him inside the stomach. So there's yet another rat in there munching away. That is pretty dang cool. <laughs> I wasn't sure how much I liked him when I first saw him, guys, but he is absolutely awesome. I love how the rat that's coming out of his head and the one inside are on like a little swivel. So if you look, you can see how it actually moves back and forth like this. And the same with the one inside. Let's take the hello rat out. See, he's actually swinging around in there. Okay, I turned him down so we could just take a look and talk about him for a minute without the sound. It is kind of strange, the placement of his sensor, because it's on the bottom of his shirt, but it does end up pointing down and catching, like, your feet and legs moving as you're walking towards him. So it does seem to work pretty good. And I do love that face. Like, if we get close up here, look at his face. Not only does he need the Aquafresh, <laughs> but he seriously needs some dental implants. And yeah, look at the eye right there. I was wondering if that thing actually was moving around inside, but it's not. But it does look like it when he's moving. I'll show you. Look at us. It looks like that eye is moving all over the place. Very cool. Rick. Rat man. I could definitely see setting up a whole scene with him and like the rat girl, the swinging rat girl, maybe the sewer varmint, and just a whole bunch of rats just like swimming around at his feet. That would be totally cool. If you love Rick Ratman, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment below, and make sure you're subscribed, guys. We have plenty more awesome videos coming. And the Halloween season is not even close to beginning. In reality, it's all year on this here channel, yo.